This is Twit. There was a guy at the show uh, with his invention, which he calls Drop. His name is Ben Harris. He's the CEO of Drop. So it's a Bluetooth uh, kitchen scale and recipe app. I'm Ben Harris. CEO Hi, Ben. Of Drop. So you can browse to our curated recipes. Let's go for a savory one today, our sausage tomato and spring onion scones, a favorite of ours. You see a great Strangely, photo this is the same bacon. one he was doing you the demo of summary. at this, this event. So I hope he knows so, uh, more than one sure recipe. One. <laughs> you then see a, a little visual summary on what you're about to make too. You can place your bowl on drop. Drop automatically recognizes it, moves on to add the next ingredient. You can then start to add your food. Oh, wow. Because Drop knows exactly Isn't how Isn't this neat? You, you just add, keep pouring in until you move on to the next you're done. Automatically. The bar is up. You start to add each one of the ingredients. Oh, right that is cool. That. In goes the yogurt. In goes the pork. Then the tomatoes. Mix everything together. Delicious. That, I got to say, that only looks like a serving for one. It said two <laughs> on the thing. I so you I said you've used a lot of cooking apps? I have. So um, uh, about the start of this year, I started uh, a diet that was no carbs and um, it's called a ketogenic diet. Um, and so cooking was the easiest way to really stick to the diet and, and get the best uh, uh, food also. So yeah, I used a whole bunch of different apps, um, mostly on my iPad, uh, but none of them, obviously the scale adds a dimension of information to the app that none of the others could have achieved. A lot of them have timers or instructions on how to prepare the food correctly, um, but, the, and also whenever, this, uh, constantly it would happen that, that the recipe would call for some amount of something and I wouldn't have that. And I would have yes. to Google around and see either, either like, could I replace it with something? Or just like, you know, he showed off with the amount of flour, I would have some, but not all. And I would assume, well, I kind of, or I'd want to double the, double the, or, you know, one and a half times the, the serving. And this, oh, this, I, I, Depending on what the, what's the price point? Because I am okay, kind of uh, sold. Uh, uh, let's let's play. How guess much the would price. you pay? Yeah. Yeah. What 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 do you think he's asking? <sighs> um. Okay, so I have to. I'm trying to put together all the pieces. It's the scale, and it's also the app, which has it's ingredients just, that were built for the app. Exactly, and the scaling and everything for the app, and. I bet I bet it's like $120. Oh, uh, well, oh, okay. Well, all right, so it's $99. Okay, okay. And and at early today, uh, when I checked, there's an early order button, and it's $80 with free shipping. So, huh. Yeah, I, I know that there are apps where you can say, um, I want to prepare this for six people. Right. But I, I, like you said, I never saw an app and, and I've had this happen where you're baking something and it's a, it's two cups of flour and you have like a cup and maybe two thirds. Yeah. And yeah. this is great where you just, you don't even have to figure out how much it is. You just throw it into the bowl and the bowl said, okay, for that much flour, this yeah. is what all the other ingredients Put in only be. two eggs instead of three. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And and I and also that you don't have to go back to uh, the computer to say what can I substitute this for because I don't have it. That's also built into the app. So it, it sounds sounds very unique to me. Yeah, I, I got to say, if it wasn't, if uh, the reason I went kind of, uh, I see in the chat room some people would say I'd pay sixty, and sixty is what I'd want to pay. But if I paid sixty, right. I would guarantee that the app would have a monthly cost to to oh, that's like, interesting. As a okay, service. yes. And so I assume that the app wouldn't have a monthly cost. That's why I went so high. Um, okay. So which is good. It also looks like the scale. I mean, just the scale. It's funny they're talking about the whole service in general. Um, a, a scale is kind of a really nice thing to have in the kitchen. Um, and this one looks like it has a silicon cover, which you could peel it off does. and then throw yeah. into the washing machine. That is very tempting if uh, I had more cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, I mean, a $100 scale is kind of like, 
ugh, but you're yeah. getting everything around it uh, as a service. So I think I'd, I'm going to wait until I see reviews on it. And, I don't know. You and we can tell that there's not just one recipe in the entire app. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You better like those uh, breakfast uh, <laughs> those scones. creations because that's what we know how to make.